Good morning, folks. We've got a number of news articles to cover today. We're eyeing the next solar wind stream approaching impacted Earth. We're peeking in on some weather as well. In this view of the sun, we can see a lack of bright umbral magnetic fields facing Earth as yet another day without sunspots rolls by. When we come over to spaceweathernews.com, we see that the corona is not without things to watch, however. We've got the dark coronal holes. They're turning across the disk. Top left, we see some activity that could be interesting by the weekend. And just north of the central coronal hole system, we see a much thinner dark rope wiggling around. It's a plasma filament, and it's now the primary eruption watch on our star. Solar flaring, stuck down in A range, and the X-ray output is very low. Solar wind remains slightly above average intensity, but has steadied a good deal, allowing Earth's shield to handle it nicely. We've got more streams coming from these dark coronal holes, one stream each due at Earth in about a day and three days respectively. Slight break between those openings and the largest quake of the last day was a 5.7 in Mexico that managed to make buildings sway up to 200 miles away. Let's get right to our news articles with the fastest spinning brown dwarf on record. Rotates once every 17 to 51 minutes. No matter where in that range reality falls, it's a new record. News coming out of JPL that chemical analyses on Martian soil reveals more clues about its earthly past. We already know it once had an ocean. Now we know it once had a lot of oxygen. California, little cayenne chocolate here. Major water reserves discovered, but... The drilling and pumping are issues even before you consider fracking contamination and ground subsidence. We've talked about floods a lot, but today we'll use that article to switch gears a bit. A couple more linked for you below the video, including the Dead Sea doing its California Lake impression. CSU professor and the Weather Channel teaming up on a great piece on the cyclone drought in the Northern Hemisphere. Record shattering last year to record low so far this year. In two days, the Northwest Pacific will have the longest dry spell on record, and we already broke that record for longest wait into the season to see the first Northern Pacific system at all. Folks, if you didn't hear the news on Billy's Facebook or Twitter, Dr. Pierre Robitaille has agreed to come speak at Observing the Frontier. I will also be narrating a special presentation on behalf of Dr. Tinsley from Texas. He'll be sending in his latest on how space energy changes the weather. If you couldn't jot down that link fast enough, just head to suspiciousobservers.org and look for the Observing the Frontier button on the right side of the homepage. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Hey!